I don't think a lot of people are giving Amelia the recognition that she deserves. I know last episode we didn't see, you know, Anos doing Anos things, but Amelia's redemption with the quote unquote fake heroes, the three kids, I think that was very wholesome. I think that like the way that she could empathize and the kids kind of realize that she is the shitty teacher for our shitty selves. I don't really know about that thing, but essentially they need each other and they were willing to risk their lives to protect the sensei. And even when Amelia saw that red dragon, which is like an outlier, a variant that you should run away from and never look back, she still tried to, you know, take be as the bait and save the children because she's such a good person. Her redemption story is pretty compelling, and I think that it's actually pretty good. It's crazy how much of a development that Emily has had from season one until now. Even the kids, like the hero kids, right? I fucking hated them. I'm not gonna lie, I still hate that blonde kid, that little kid, and kind of want someone to fuck him up. But anyways, the redemption is there. The dragon has been taken down. Maybe we're gonna go back to more Anos doing Anos things today. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Anos is proud. Bald! A horde of dragons. I just want to throw this motherfucker in the front line, like fight. I, and, then, and then he puts like, no, you're heroes. You're supposed to protect us. <laughs> Kill them. And I teleported them. <laughs> Am I getting my wish? It comes true right now. He put them in the front lines of the shield? <laughs> Let's see the shield. <laughs> yeah, that's what a child would do. Put the royalty in front to fucking fight the dragon. <laughs> Battle of pride. Whose pride is it? Human pride? Demon pride? Hybrid pride? Dragon pride? Spider pride? Naiwa. わかりました。勇者学院はこれより竜討伐に向かいます。壊ないと。確かに魔王が。Pride。Human can we bring all 10,000 Zeshias from underground to help us? Aren't they technically also Hero Academy? Right, they all got their holy swords. Water flow, irrigation, uh, okay. Then he burned the water? I don't know. Two thousand years ago, holy water? It buffs them, right? Because they did the shit in uh, season one when they fought, but underwater. And it's like, psych, we had holy water or something. What? Just swimsuit out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> Damn, Amelia! <laughs> the ultimate <laughs> swimsuit's fast. Oh, the child? <laughs> the little child that I ate two, you know, canned tuna meals that gave me this fucking gift? <laughs> you don't think there's anything wrong with that? <laughs> I'm like, I wonder if they would fight with the dragon in the swimming suits. Hi, <laughs> Nick. Oh, his name is Heine? I didn't even know. I think that the episode title is gonna be exactly that. 10 year old by 30 year old teacher bikini. I, I think that's gonna be a great YouTube title. Some kind of magic crest symbol? I don't know. She's giving her entire life story. Aww. Are you gonna start with 
You're all precious students that I want to protect. Even though you're fucking stupid, shitty, trash fucking students, I'll protect you. You're not trash though. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> what is this doing? Oh, fucking human magic. Uh, now we're underground. Oh, this shit dude i totally forgot about this right 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 uh this dude was like a fake king or some no no he was a real king the story was fake uh misa was in trouble something about taking her soul but then lay's like nah it won't work why i don't fucking know <laughs> no i want dark misa to show up avos power of love Guardian God of Emotion, yeah, I Lay, do something! No, Avos will show up now, right? Maybe? And cutscene. <laughs> Look at the CGI Dragon Flames. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Bro took a... You don't need the glasses? What do you mean? What? I, I thought you need the glasses! Safe energy guardian sword. Oh, did he need to take the glasses off to summon this? The, 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 did, did he need to take the glasses off to summon this sword? What is the importance of him taking the glasses off and throwing it on the ground just to look cool? Was it some chuny shit or like there's no way the glasses are a power limiter, dude? <laughs> really? Did he do it last season? Shit, maybe he did do it first season, I forgot. My bad. Green, blue, red. That is such a I guess it's pretty balanced, right? Like it's an order, power, time, duration, inverse, and also you get half. There's a punishment for it, but it's kind of sucks, but I guess it's balanced in a way. Emilia <laughs> Sensei! Someone! I know, I know, I know he's trying to save her. I know he's trying to save her. He saved her there, but something about her face just hitting the ground. <laughs> Boo, bitch, ow! No shot, he's dead. No, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <gasps> oh, I made you pop off time. Oh, come on. Why are you going back to. I, I hate it when they keep doing that shit. You got two different fucking fights, and you. Fucking builds up in one section and then it edges you and then psych over to the next section and then that builds up and edges you psych back to the fuck that format. <laughs> he didn't even allow him to let it summon his Pokemon this time, right? He's the one of the inner world? He's a Draconoid. You're speaking to me right now, bitch. Oh. What is that? To? A godless world. A godless world. Ahide, wow, who would have thought? Consecration? To go to the gods from inside a dragon's womb and be reincarnated in holy form. Huh. I thought, like, if you get eaten by a dragon, your soul pretty much just kills. But there's this consecration where you can become, you reincarnate into a god by, but, like, how do you get in the dragon's womb? Because the womb is, like, where baby is. How do you... You don't just go down the... I... Do you fuck the drag? I... Do you fuck the dragon and then kill yourself? Oh, 
Kill him! Ooh, I think he just squished his head. Bald! That is sick. <laughs> he just stomped the ground to get to the next part. Bang! Oh, we haven't seen this in a while. Destruction and creation at the same time! Bakano! Oh no! <laughs> That's classic enemy lines. The god who won't submit. Have you revived the goddess of absurdity? So this is known as the goddess of absurdity in their lore? It's just Misha and Sasha fusion. And they got off screen. Heine <laughs> has been just drawing on the ground for like the past fucking 20 minutes. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Just a kid just drawing the fucking sand lot. Just, just drawing this. I mean, it's a kid, right? No, this is the ultimate weapon. Heine is our trump card. What is this gonna do? Bro's been drawing on the sand a long time. Are you serious? Don't tell me all that drawing on the ground just got wasted there. All of them. Yeah. No, don't, don't, don't jinx it. You fucking idiot. Ah. <laughs> You should have never said that. That was so fucking cliche, Heine. Why would you say that? Heine dead. Oh, frozen. That was a freeze breath. Use your flame sword. Yeah. Who's gonna save us? Wait, Heine? That is so raw, because he only needed one arm to activate. So he cut his own arm and he broke it off. That's insane. All of him being a brat, completely justified. And what does this actually do, though? Holy water? It deactivated. Wait, Emilia got it. Emilia got it. There it is. Oh, yo, her body's like getting fucked up from using that. Holy shit, that could have killed Zetia and Eleonore. Damn, her body got fucked up from using that. She good, right? Everyone's good? Everyone's good, right? I think so. That did Jerry's just. Damn. It was so fast. I mean, they did call it Trump card. They just basically activates and then big laser and big laser die. And then what the fuck are you guys doing? These kids ain't doing shit, bro. What the fuck? I didn't see you survive a single fucking dragon E NPC fucking hero. All right. On this side, we're good. Clutch. Good job, Amelia. What's going on there? Ahide? You're so annoying, Ahide. I fucking hate you. The same human king that's with Rei right now, right? This Equius person again. Spirit God Sword. I'm not getting the plot. <laughs> Shit talk him! All right, let's see it. Ahida versus Anos. <laughs> what, what? Oh, I got the text message from God. Oh, Avos. Avos. Nah, dude. That is his scripture, the narrative, okay? He works in mysterious ways. I'm 
I agree. That's some bullshit they use in religion sometimes. It's like, oh, God works in you know, mysterious ways. Anos is absolutely correct. If he could have saved everybody, he should have. But he's like, nah, they fucking deserved it. What kind of almighty being does that, bro? <laughs> What a benevolent lord Anos is. <laughs> this, this is a fucking the entire first half of the episode 10 x speed right now, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Usually they would do this have like PowerPoint presentation and show one important impact scene and the other. Dude, this is a budget flashback. They just fucking had the copy paste fast forward like 4x speed or something. <laughs> Holy shit! That's right! How does he just put up the fucking big screen up like this? Don't worry, he's got powers. Nah, I could love you, Avos. Come on, show up, Dark Misa. Oh? The Coom is finally gone. But Avos, Demon King, False Lore, Real Lore. Wait. Avos still heavy. There it is. There it is. Oh, she's so good. <laughs> so, are we gonna permanently have Avos like this? Honestly, like. Straight up, I would be down to have permanently have Avos here instead of, you know, Misa. Because, like, this is, like, way better Misa. He just got eaten. He chomped. He got eaten, right? I, 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 I couldn't really see it. I think he just got chomped there. <laughs> Get fucked. No, 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 he kind of fused. His daughter? Okay. Okay. Such a long fucking technique. Cut her. Oh. But it was a trap. Surely it's not gonna go according to their plot. We got more swords, but like, oh shit. Fuck the power of friendship. These two, from going forward, every time it's just gonna be power of love. Somehow they'll just withstand it through the power of love, bro. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> All the sources destroyed. A hero's real holy sword isn't a stick like that. It's the love inside his heart. Uh, would Shin agree? Uh, uh, also, how is Shin gonna feel about, you know, Risa being almost... Sure, power of love. If I'm fucking Ahide right here, I'd be like, that's the most bullshit I've ever seen. What the fuck? We should have won there. And I'd be like, yeah, you right, but power of love. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. <laughs> that's the episode, man. Man, today's episode, pretty hyped. Last episode was also pretty hyped, too. With the whole Amelia redemption. But the redemption is not over, bro. This is like part two of the redemption. Fighting off the students, right? Everybody got involved and fought against the dragon. It was pretty sick to see. Heine... You know what? I was shitting on this Shota for being annoying, and he is an annoying Shota, but he really stepped up, cut his own fucking, you know, broke his arm off, and saved everybody. Well, Emilia also did that too. This is pretty great from the Hero Academy. Wonder what happened with um, the king.
No, not the king, the baldy. Because I almost like ported them in front of the front lines to be the shields, but we didn't really get to see it. I would have liked to see like his bald head infused into a shield that we're using against the fucking dragon, but hey, if we got what we get. Ahide, useless, fucking annoying piece of shit as usual. Uh, how do we survive this? Uh, even though the gods' word are true and they had the whole plot, you know, laid out. Uh, power of love. Don't worry about it. Power of love triumphs everything. And dark Misa or Avo still heavy is back. I hope that she remains in this form. Maybe she can like swap back and out. I don't know. Also, how is Shin gonna feel about this? Maybe Shin's gonna be like, damn, I guess you are that age. My daughter's gone goth. That's right. Shin has realized that my sweet Misa is now goth. <laughs> That's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And also next time, take care.